Hi, I'm Dennison, creator of Marine Diesel Basics, the first visual guide to marine diesel systems. In this video, we'll explore timing belts and timing marks. Thanks for watching. Welcome aboard our beautiful boat with our reliable diesel engine and its pistons going up and down in the cylinders driving the crankshaft, which of course turns the propeller shaft. The opening and closing of the intake and exhaust valves are controlled by the position of the piston through the valve train, which is something I've covered in another video. The pistons on the crankshaft and the intake and exhaust valves connected to the camshaft must work together or be synchronised. This is done by one of three methods depending on the engine design. A timing belt timing gears, or a timing chain. Timing belts are made of rubber or nitrile and reinforced with glass fibres. They are easy to engineer and cheap to make. However, they also wear out and need to be replaced, and they can break, potentially causing real damage to the engine. Timing gears are made of hardened steel, and they can last the lifetime of the engine. However, the gears need to be lubricated with engine oil, which is something not needed with the rubber timing belts, so they are harder to engineer and therefore more expensive. Timing chains are also robust, like timing gears, and also need lubricating. They tend to be quieter than timing gears and are more flexible in terms of where the camshaft and injection pump are located. So we have the crankshaft and the camshaft working together. The camshaft gear is twice the size of the crankshaft gear because it rotates at half the speed of the crankshaft. Two turns of the crankshaft equals one turn of the camshaft. In mechanical diesel engines, the timing belt, gear or chain will also include the timing of the injection pump. The timing belt fits around the pulleys with flat teeth or sprockets and is tightened by a tensioner. A timing gear uses an idler gear between the crankshaft and the camshaft and injection pump. The idler turns in the opposite direction of the crankshaft, allowing the camshaft and injection pump to turn in the same direction as the crankshaft. A timing chain has the flexibility of a timing belt but will last a lot longer. However, it also needs to be lubricated with engine oil. The crankshaft and camshaft must be in the correct positions when they are synchronised by the timing belt, timing gears or timing chain. Otherwise a valve may open on the wrong stroke of the piston. Timing is always marked from when the piston in the first cylinder is at top dead centre. Note the timing mark. Timing belts Timing gears and timing chains are ways to synchronise the rotation of the crankshaft and the piston to the camshaft and the opening and closing of valves. Well, thanks for watching. Until next time, I wish you fair winds and a reliable diesel.